Hi there! Uh, let's talk about some Mario and Zelda figures this time. Namely these ultra detail figures. And man are they awesome. Okay. There's three in the Mario set and three in the Zelda set. And both of them contain classic uh, mid and then um, modern figures. And this is the classic Mario figure. And as you can see, it's modeled after the old art from Super Mario Bros. 1. He's holding the older mushroom style. And uh, here it shows on the back what characters are in the set. So there's three Marios and three Links. And it even has that little face on the mushroom. I'm not sure you got... Yeah, there you go. You can see that. Um, and it comes on a little base because obviously he's not going to stand in that pose. Uh, and there's just a little, there's the classic Japanese writing and the classic Japanese logo. And it's produced and manufactured by Medicom Toy. So let's look at the next Mario one. Super Mario Bros. 3. Now you'd kind of expect maybe the Super Mario Bros. 3 raccoon Mario pose from the big game box, but they went with Tanuki. I love the checker box. And the um, that is the classic logo from the game box from Japan. And then uh, it even has copyright 1988 Nintendo. Interesting. Uh, yeah, another ultra detailed figure. Same backing. Okay, uh, came out this year. And another good pose. Pretty much the same as the other pose, isn't it? Mario running. Um, so it has a little stand there. He's not holding anything. Excellent paint job. Um, I mean, these are... They say ultra detail. But it's kind of funny these characters don't have a lot of detail to them. But um, what detail they do have is exquisitely shown in these figures. And obviously we'll see a little bit more with Link. And here's, a, here's the regular Mario. He's in a jumping pose. Or the modern Mario, sorry. He's in a jumping pose, and um, this one isn't as exciting, right? Because it's there's tons of figures out there for New Super Mario Brothers, and um, especially New Super Mario Brothers Wii. So another stand, another running kind of pose, and a running and a jump. And uh, you can see kind of on the base that they also contain the logo, and that is true for all of them. You can see Super Mario Brothers three kind of on there, and then. Uh, Super Mario Brothers there. So, alright, so that is the Mario ones. Let's move on to the Zelda. Now, this one is going to be worth a boatload, I think, later. Uh, if you have a chance to get one of these, take it now because this is one of the most coveted Zelda items out there today, in my opinion, because there is no classic Link figures. There's a lot of Link art from that era, but this is the first one I've seen that has it painted and uh, it has the Japanese logo on the base again. Um, this one can probably stand on its own without the base, but it has the Japanese logo there with the upside down trice force. Of course it wasn't really upside down that back then, but uh, you'll notice the cross on the shield. That was true of the earlier games. This is as he appeared in Legend of Zelda Hyrule Fantasy, which is what the Japanese game is called. And then these have the same backings. Okay, um, So that is why this one is so coveted out of the complete set. It's the only painted classic Zelda Link um, figure that I've seen. So this one's going to sell like crazy. That's the one people want. Um, here's Legend of Zelda Wind Waker. So there's a lot of uh, figures of him as well, Toon Link. You can see that can't really see all that well on the, the, the logos on the base, but it is. Um, different pose, different face. Uh, it is a very good figure of this character. You can see the detail on the shield there. It's very good. Um, not a whole lot else to talk about. It is a, a great little figure. But again, not as cool as the classic Link. And then we do have quite a few figures of this one now, the Skyward Sword, in this pose even. Um, grab it if I can see it. 
It's not on the shelf yet, maybe. There's another Link figure that, it's smaller than this, but it has this exact same pose. And then you can put um, the Figma Link in this pose, if you want to. Um, you can see on the base there that it has the Skyward Sword logo, the Japanese logo, of course, which is the same as the American logo. And a lot of good detail on this one. You can see, I don't know if you can see how good the chain mail is on that. Um, it's kind of hard to see as Hylian Shield, but it's back there. Uh, even the ruffles in the clothes. So this one you can see the, um, oh, it got all dark. This one you can see the uh, detail that they were going for in the Ultra Detail series. So that is the Ultra Detail figure set. And again, if you have a chance to get the Classic Link, do it. And all of them have this little Nintendo Seal, official Nintendo Seal sticker on it. And um, to get these out, you just remove a little tape along each edge, and you slide the card backing off, and then you have access to the figure. Um, mine will never be removed, obviously, because... This is awesome, and I hope to be able to display it somewhere in here. Um, but yeah, this is a must-have for Zelda fans. Okay, thanks for looking, thanks for watching.